Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Coming at you so dressed up today. <laughs> Anyways, I'm back with another yarn video, another fiber arts video. Today, I'm going to be crocheting. I'm really excited because, well, this little blob right here is actually a little knitted top that I've been working on for a while because I've been teaching myself how to knit. So I'm really slow at it because I'm very new. And I use little tiny needles, so you know, it's just a slow process to say the least so i'm gonna go back to my roots and i'm going to crochet this video will be up way after coachella but coachella is this weekend and when i think of coachella and crochet i think of this top that everybody was making like this time last coachella i want to say i only know of this top because i watched jenna phipps make it i will put a picture of her top right here it is one of my favorite things um she's made a video about making on her channel i love it so much that i just want to make my own version of it um i'm doing different colors and i will show you those right now i'm really excited <laughs> this is what we're going with at this current moment in time so i got this yarn from joann's and it was literally i got this for ten dollars all of these insane insane so this is the lion brand basic stitch anti-pilling yarn it is 100% acrylic, but I don't know. It feels nice. There's some that I just cannot handle. I cannot stand. They like make like my ears high pitch squeaking. <laughs> so I got three of these in the color sage. And then I got this one in the color baby pink. This is such a gorgeous color combination. I just could not help myself. Calls for a five millimeter hook. So I think I want to use a 4.5 millimeter hook just so it's a little bit tighter. Guys, why is Little Fall of Rain stuck in my head? So don't you fret, Monsieur Marius. I won't feel any pain. A little fall of rain can hardly hurt me now. You're here. That's all I need to know. So pretty much the layout of this little top here. So it's a granny hexagon, so it has six sides instead of the regular four granny square style. You know what I mean? I don't know why I'm trying to explain it. So I found a little explanation. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just save this image right now. I'll put a picture of it right here on the screen for you so you can screenshot it and follow the exact one I am. We are just gonna see if I can figure this out. I feel like I can figure this out. So I just finished my second round. It's like, it feels weird because it just feels like I'm messing up a granny square and added too many corners, but I don't know if you can easily see. And then I think I just wanna do like one or two stripes of pink in it, um, but I'm gonna be working with this green for a while probably. Okay, it's time for an update. I'm exhausted. I don't feel good. And I feel a little anxious. <laughs> so ignore that. <laughs> Anyways, let me just show you where I'm at. A hexagon. And honestly, I'm almost at the length that I want the like sleeves to be. So soon I will stop that side. But I really, really like this color. I do think it's time for a pink stripe after I finish this. Let's see, we have one, two, three. So on the 11th round, I will go in with a stripe of pink. I also went ahead last night and found a pattern for a Peter Pan collar. On all the ones I've seen, it's like a normal collar type deal, but honestly, I don't really want that. I think I want a Peter Pan collar. Let's keep, keep it going. <laughs>
Looking a little bit crazy. I'm back in literally the exact outfit I was in yesterday. I do not care. I think it's time for a little bit of a verbal update slash explanation on where we're at right now. First of all, I just finished my first green ball of yarn. Honestly, I'm happy it got me this far. I think we'll be okay because I have three. Pretty much, I worked until I got to the length of the sleeves, like how I wanted my sleeves to be, which ended up being 12 rows, I think I wanna say. I love that it ends with a pink and then a green, like, mm, it's so good. So the only parts that I am still extending are, is this, this right here is three sides again. I love how quick of a workup it is, like the fact that there's a possibility that I'll finish half of this today when I started it literally late last night, like it hasn't even been 24 hours, is honestly crazy. Now I truly genuinely wish I could sit here and look you in the eye and tell you, that I'm gonna work on that project for the rest of the night because I really wish I could do that. I really wish that I could do that for the rest of the night. But you know, I don't even think I have to say anything except for the fact that we have less than a month of school left. Finals, final projects, final essays. So I have quite a long to-do list. I don't just sit in my bed and crochet all day, like that's not what I do. Am I mentally well? I don't think so. Anyways, that's it for my verbal update. <laughs> Don't even look. Don't even look at how I look. I was kind of stressing out because I was like, mm, what if I cut the yarn off and then I want part of it to be longer somewhere, but honestly, this is so easy to add more on to, so I'm not too worried about it. So this is half of it. Oh my gosh, it looks so cute. So as you can see, like this right here is a sleeve. And now literally what I have to do is just make another half of this. So let's do it. It's almost three o'clock. Uh, yes, I am wearing something I made. I love doing that. I just feel so cool. I love wearing stuff I made. But I hung out with my mom this morning because I had a doctor's appointment. So I took my crochet with me because I think I showed you last night. I'm on the last row of green before our first pink stripe. I did just finish my second ball. Hoping I'll have enough. I really think I will. Ugh, I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to start the next ball of yarn, finish this row, and then we're gonna do a pink row. I do have a class later today from five to eight, so I won't be able to work on it that much tonight, but luckily I don't think I have any schoolwork that I need to do today. Actually, I don't think I have any. But that's our little update. Let's keep going, because I'm getting really excited, like really, 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 really excited about this one. I'm, I think it's gonna be so cute.
Hey guys, next day. But I have both of my, oh, look how cute this little pile is. I have both of my sides done. I am currently just weaving in the second side's ends. We are going to finish this today and it is only Thursday. I started this Monday night. Here's how we're doing on yarn. I think it's gonna be great. We're gonna be golden actually, like perfect amount of yarn. Okay, it's time for the reveal. Before I reveal it though, I made this top I'm wearing. My second knit ever. It is so much better than my first, you wouldn't even believe it. I'm really, really, really proud of this. I think it's the best thing I've ever made. I also think it's the most practical and wearable. I think it's really great. <laughs> I'm really proud of it. However, let's see how it looks if I put this shirt that I just made over this. I don't think it'll look good, but I think you'll get the idea, you know? Dun 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 dun! Also, I did finish it that day when I filmed last. It has been, I think, two or three days just because I was blocking it. I literally love this collar. Admittedly, I ran out of the green, so I had to do pink over here, but I kind of like it. It's kind, it's something Jenna Phipps would do, and that's the stamp of approval for me. I also ended up folding the sleeves and literally adding like a single crochet to keep it folded up like that. I cannot wait to wear this on Monday to class. It's so casual and comfortable. So here's front view, side view, back, and the other side. If you would buy a shirt like this, like let me know and I will make more of them because I really had a lot of fun making this. I think the length is so perfect. I literally love it. But for now, this is so good. I'm already on to the next. This is what my uh, granny square little stretcher thing looks like after last night. I was watching Hotel Transylvania and I knocked out some <laughs> some granny squares here of all different sizes that I want to like piece together to make a little vest. I digress. That's not what this video is about. So yeah, let me know what you think of this. I'm really happy with it. I think it's really fun and I think it's really practical and wearable, especially in my personal wardrobe. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you like and subscribe for more just like this one. Um, I do have a crochet playlist, so you can go check that out. Um, I will leave it in the eye. 
up there so you can go see. I hope you enjoyed. If you really liked it, then you should follow me on all of my other socials. Uh, at Cassidy Lee Quinn on TikTok, at Cassidy Lee Quinn on Instagram, and go shop my Depop at Cassidy Lee on Depop. And I will see you around. Bye!